Peter, throughout his life, has had experiences with shadowy entities. His early memories as a child included seeing or sensing their presence. As an adult, these encounters come and go, with years sometimes passing between activities. Some of it seems to relate to whether they can engage with him. There's also something eerily inevitable about these encounters. They can read minds and sense thoughts. One night, as Peter lay in bed, hours after watching a video on cats, he tried to fall asleep in the dark. Suddenly he heard a cat meow. It felt like it was right by the bedroom door. Feeling slightly anxious, Peter laid still and pretended to be asleep. A month later, as he lay in bed again dealing with his tinnitus, he started to hear something in his right ear, a whisper that was hard to hear. Was it all in my mind? Peter thought as he felt something touching his ear. A sense of closeness enveloped him, as if something had leaned in and started whispering. Then he heard movement in other rooms. In reflection, Peter realized the entities could make noises, have a weak physical presence, and even move objects. Bob's experience happened about a year ago, Bob begins. It was short and simple. I woke up at three in the morning. I looked at my iPad. After trying to go back to sleep for a few minutes, I heard a woman with a deep voice whisper around in my ear. At the time, my bed was next to a window. Then. I heard what sounded like a knock at my window. Considering my window is high up, nobody could knock on it. Bob continues, so I just laid there, scared out of my mind. Then I looked at the window, but there was nothing there. It looked like a normal night. The frogs were loud, the moon was up, and the crickets were chirping. So a bit later, I laid down and somehow went back to sleep. Haley's experience has been quite unsettling. It's been about a few weeks since she's had her last paranormal experience, but this last Sunday and Monday night, something whispered to her while she was in the state between being awake and asleep. Sunday night was like any other school night. She went to bed around 10 p.m. She usually puts her cat Salem outside for the night because he will sit in the hallway and meow for no reason at all. Despite trying to let him out, or offer him food, or ask him to come into her room, he refuses. He just sits and meows in the darkness. He's a strange cat, he does this a lot. Lately he's been climbing up to the window and scratching and meowing at 3 to 5 a.m. for her to let him back inside. She used to get up and let him in, but since she can never get back to bed afterwards, she decided he could just wait a few more hours until she got up. He did this Sunday night, like usual, half asleep and half awake. She could hear him scratching and meowing for her to let him in. She ignored it and stayed in that state for about two minutes. While she was in that state, she heard someone clearly say into her ear, I see you in there. I know you're awake. This didn't hit her because she was half asleep still, so it didn't frighten her. When she woke up in the morning, she remembered it like it had just happened. It was so clear, which was unusual. Like any other person just leaned over and said it to her, only there was no one around. Haley has also been waking up sore lately just random nights and she knows that she does not sleepwalk. There isn't anything for her to hit her face or body parts on while she's sleeping either. There's just the wall, but she definitely would have woken up if she hit the wall. About a week ago, she woke up and her forehead was sore, not her skull, just the skin. The next day, it went down her face to around her nose. She's also woken up with 
developed sore spots that turned into bruises later in the day. She doesn't work out or anything. Trust me, she's tried to sort this out to a reasonable explanation. Nothing she does could have given her bruises. It's odd. She knows. Trust her. Sometimes she'll even have a dream where she feels the pain and she's being harmed in the dream and she'll wake up to being sore in the area where she was hurt in the dream. She was discussing this with her friend at school the other day and her friend told her that over summer she woke up and she had a busted lip and bruises on her arms. Her friend doesn't sleepwalk either because Haley has stayed with her many times and she's a light sleeper.